Look, I glance at the stat sheet and see 19 assists and you know, I'm still working on our identity. That's a step in the right direction, trying to find our identity. I, I, did, I did think we defended their guards who we were worried about and chased them off the arc most of the night, made somebody else make plays. How much did you look at the stat sheet from the other night and say, we can't, we're not beating anybody if we have five assists? Like, yeah, you, you got to get back to sharing it. And moving it. No, no question. No, no, there's no question. I mean, and, and I thought we ran our stuff and stayed disciplined. And, um, you know, Saturday made it, you know, they're so good defensively. It was a little hard, you know, and, and uh, but, you know, 19 assists and moving that ball around and controlling the tempo. And then we picked our spots running on misses which we got to get some easy buckets on misses. And, um, you know, and I thought, you know, we put Prentice back in the lineup and brought Cormac off just to do something different and try and, you know, and, and I thought Prentice kind of was the senior guard, the veteran guard all night. And I think he's out there with Blake, especially to start a game. It helps Blake. And, um, and then we've got Cormac and Trey coming off the bench, and maybe we'll ride that for a while. What was your uh, – you've had to give so many messages to, to this group. What was it coming out of Indiana? you got to be pretty great or something. Yeah, um, you know, uh, you know that, that we move the ball and not settle for the first easy jump shot, that we move it more and grind on offense and do it together. Um, you know, we've worked a lot offensively. I, I like where we are. Well, defensively, we're working, man. And we're, there's more of a conscious, and we're chasing guys around and moving around. And um, well, we've not been able to find, you know, enough. You know, we play some really good teams, man. We play, I think our schedule's 12th. And, uh, but just move it. And if it gets to single digits in the shot clock, don't panic. We'll, we'll, we're good. We're, we're fine. You came into the game, I think, I mean, you're shooting 30%, I think like 280. I think you shot a lot better tonight. What, what do you what do you see in practice? I mean, when you... Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I think these, these, you know, we got guys that can make shots. You know, you, you've seen them throughout their careers. Um, I'm confident in them taking good shots. And, you know, it, it's not my first rodeo with a group that's maybe not shooting well. and. I don't, I'm not saying anything to you. You know, guys have their own routine. If they're not shooting well, we don't, we don't go look at film. Oh, look at your stroke. Where's your elbow? All right, right. That, I mean, you know, we don't overcoach that. Like, shoot it when it's a good shot, or I'm gonna take you out of the game. And I think we've been, we're trending the right way of getting better shots out of our continuity, and and I think that can help us. Mike, talk about that. Ten will start today. Yeah, you know, it was great. We were ready to play, man. I mean, we were disappointed uh, on Saturday down there. Uh, we didn't play great, but we we came back and had a chance to take the lead a couple times and against a good team in a tough atmosphere. You know, we got it's a great group of kids, man. They they're coachable. We're just, you know, I, I think we're still finding our identity and our staff. We're trying to figure out how to help them better every day. We're going to go back and watch this. And how do we help them again tomorrow? And um, uh, so, yeah, when you can get off to a good start, you know, it helps.